that just about then. Something from the Georgia crowd rolled out there. I don't know if it's a red pom pom, but we're underway. And Brown mishandles it at the four, finds the handle. And maybe his knee went down when he went to retrieve the ball. At any rate, whistle stop play. At third down and 11, inside their own three. Levis in the end zone, loads it, fires far sideline. Caught him! And a first down at the 35 to Barry and Brown. The guy that dropped the opening kickoff just made up for it. Is they have not been able to get any big plays since Mississippi State. They've had four 20-yard pass plays and only one plus 30. And there's a 31 right there. So they're second since four games. A second down at a yard. Rodriguez again, and he's got the first down. Got it out to the 45. They'll move the chains. Will Levis snaps it over the middle to his tight end, Caddis. Josh Caddis to the 40. And another first down, Kentucky. We'll see fourth down and one. Kentucky 12 out of 18 on fourth downs this year. Georgia shifts on their defensive front. And he's not going to get it. Rodriguez goes down. Georgia's defense stiffens Munden again. McConkey in motion. They're going to give it to him. And a little handoff. And that's going to go as a pass and a first down and a pickup of 10. College careers. Edwards blasts out for a first down. Down to the 44-yard line of Kentucky. Kenny McIntosh broke one tackle and a second and drags Wildcats for a first down. What a run. Tim Bennett, who's under center on second down and two. Edwards, a little hesitation and blasts through the hole, and he's still going. Down to the 14. They can get a first at the four. Stetson Bennett flushed out of the pocket. Now he's going to try to run, and he only got back to the line of scrimmage. Pretty strong winds going on right now here in Lexington. Low snap. Bennett got it down. But Lesney got it through. Boy, nice play by Bet Bennett on that one. And that's a lot of trust. And they came up empty on a fourth down and a long yard. Let's see how the second offensive series goes for Will Levis. Has to throw in a hurry. Completes it. And it's going to be a first down. That particular statistic. Second down and nine. Two tight end set for the Cats. Quick throw, Levis tucked it in there somehow. It's a first down. He got it to the same guy, Dane Key. Empty backfield. Levis on second and eight. Trying to get it out to Brown, and Georgia's all over that. Levis, pressure coming. Down he goes. Flags fly as well. Hands to the face. First the foul. Hands to the face. Defense. Number 33. Right. Last year. It's 376, I think. Wasn't yep. it? Rodriguez, first down run. Tough one. Backpedaling through Smile, Munden, and Cupper. Levis going to run with it. Will Levis got the first down. Diving forward. He laid out on that one, didn't slide. He knew he had to get the extra yard in midair, and he got it. But third down and 11 on a penalty. So another long yardage, fires and intercepted by Keely Ringo. And Ringo bringing it back the other way and still going. Keely Ringo, who won the national championship game against Alabama, has got it all the way back almost to midfield for the Dogs. And threw it to the wrong side of the field. Third down and three, empty backfield. Stetson Bennett going to loft it over to Kenny McIntosh. McIntosh inside the 35 and a first down Georgia. Third, second down at four. Little hesitation by McIntosh and let me blast for a first down. You think is. about the past. Right. right. Kendall Milton in there now. Bennett off the bootleg. Throws on the run, little side on dart over to McConkey. McConkey inside the 10 and it's first and goal. Bennett fires end zone overshot McConkey. Out of the Stetson Bennett hole. This one it's down clean, up clean, and through for Georgia. So. Opener for McIntosh. Kenny McIntosh still going all the way to the 39 yard line. No help. 
Bennett looking right the whole way. Fires into some traffic and completes it to Rosemary Jack Saint, but that was a short game. Quick out. One of the two. Yep. Got a hustle. There's the quick out. Bowers gets leveled out of bounds at the 20. Going on that play. As it is, but Lesney gets an opportunity for a 37-yard field goal. He's two for two today. He's three for three today. And that'll end the half. Big call. Georgia got a big break there. I thought that guy was going. Pazuzzi was going backward. Excuse me, not Pazuzzi. The play. Wow. Receiver and a quarterback. Play action. Stetson Bennett's going to go deep. Oh, man. And he threw it right to Kentucky. Intercepted at the 10 by Jordan Lovett. After that false start on day key, Sidon throw out and a loss on this one as Jaton McLean gets drilled inside the five. 19 times. We'll see which one it ends up being. You've got to get 16 yards to get a first down deep in his own end zone. Throws it out over the Georgia bench right over the top of Kirby Smart. Milton again. And Milton again. Big run. Still bounce it off. Would be tacklers to the 36 yard line. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Second down at seven. And they're going to keep hammering it. And he's got a first down, and Georgia's starting to maul the Kentucky defense on this drive. Wanted to go deep to McConkey is in motion. They're just going to keep running it. Kenny McIntosh back in there, another first down. McIntosh has got it first and goal inside the 10. From the nine. There's Bowers in the flat. And there's the oh, touchdown boy. by Kenny McIntosh. Could have done it either way. Beautiful design play. Just got it off. They're going to bring pressure from the secondary. Bennett throws. Almost intercepted, but it's caught by Blaylock. Dominic Blaylock. And a big play for Georgia. That was so close to being a pick six going the other hey, way. Talking about the great Billy Sims, by the way. McConkey in motion. They're going to keep it on the ground. Little sidestep and McIntosh. Not only the first down, but more. All the way down to the eight-yard line. So they're going to try to nail the coffin right here. And oh, no. no. Kendall Milton didn't get there. Nice job by Kentucky's defense led by Jamaris Dinkins. And again, he'll take it five yards deep in his own end zone. And now he's going to run with it to get himself some room to work and might even have a first down out of it. And a banged up shoulder as well. First down at the 11. Rodriguez. Strong run. There's the Chris Rodriguez we're used to for about 15. From the 26. Levis. Pressure coming. Going deep. Got a man there to him at the 35 and it's Barry and Brown one of those young guys Gary just talked about they moved it from their own one to the Georgia 32 RPO is right on the money to Caddis the tight end and he's got it at the 16 Levis slant touchdown Barry and Brown Going for two. Beautifully designed play by Stern Yellow that time. But this would make it really interesting in the next 10 minutes. Levis, the fade to the corner, overshot Marion Brown, the guy that caught the touchdown pass. Will Levis getting some pressure, but going deep. The ball is wobbling in the air, and it's caught again by Marion Brown. Deep shots. This is really the third deep shot that Kentucky has hit against this Georgia defense. Number seven, who's leading the charge for the Wildcats to try to draw closer to Georgia. And he lofts it to the corner. Yep. Flags fly in. It's going to be pass interference on Kamari Lassiter. None in this game. They had one, but it was taken away by penalty. Otherwise, they haven't hit Levis. They're coming at him now as he lets it fly. And he got it to Barry and Brown again. Blitz coming off the corner. Levis is going down at the 20. They finally got to him. Sixth year senior, Matt Ruffalo. Bad snap and a bad kiss. Bad. No good. Here's the ball game. Fourth down. 
Levis loads and goes over the middle. Incomplete. If there's no flags, Georgia will take over. So, you know, they're really going to point for that football game against LSU. They want that one bad. They want that SEC championship on their way to the playoffs. They could conceivably play three times at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. The opener against Oregon, the SEC championship yep. against LSU, and then a playoff game in the Peach Bowl. Well, they had to work like crazy today. Two friends meet at midfield. A hard-fought Georgia victory.